the most difficult shot you're going to take is right when you draw if you go for the head shot first. That's why with this drill I always start with the two in the center mass area. Because you can actually practice all these things dry fire at home. You don't necessarily need to be live at the range. Um, you can, I utilize using a laser grip when I just train at home or whatnot, if it's too cold out or whatever, but I do it every single day, you know, just for about 15, 20 minutes, that's it. Up. Using laser sights, it's an effective tool training your eye to hone in on what you're aiming to shoot at. However, they can be pricey. That's the only downside of it. However, it's a great way to practice hand-eye coordination, muscle memory. But out of personal preference, I use either the Laser Max Guide Rod for Glock 19, or I use the Crimson Trace Laser Grip for Glock 23. These lasers can cost anywhere from $250 to $300. What's up, guys? So this pistol tip will cover the basics of just using your iron sights, priming, as well as a few tips and tricks here and there to, uh, for focusing as you're aiming or getting your sight on target. Every firearm comes with iron sights. Rear, front. Using your iron sights, of course you're in your stance, of course you're pointing the muzzle of your firearm at your target. Line up your front sight with your target. Then level the, the rear sights down with your target. Boom. All three dots should be lined up. Boom. Breathe out, hold your breath, and fire. Front sight, the rear sight up. All three dots lined up. Is that Breathe out, can... hold your breath, and fire. So after you take your first shot, do not release the trigger. Keep your sights lined right back up on the target. Slowly let go of the trigger until it clicks and resets. Then take your additional shot. Pair this with your breathing exercise while your trigger is depressed as you're slowly letting it out. Breathe in. Letting my breath out. Hold it. Trigger is depressed to be doing your breathing. Exhale and then hold your breath in again, reset trigger, shoot. This trigger control will actually help you manage recoil and your accuracy will improve immensely. So we're just gonna do a refresher on pistol low ready position. Grip your firearm properly, fingers around, trigger discipline, this hand. Remember the thumb placement up there. And when you extend out, it's easier because your head's already right here. My eyes are already looking right across there from the front of my sights, and I get to subconscious level where I aim without even thinking about it. You just do it from all the repetition, repetition. So that's high ready into this position, and then extend out when you engage. more live. Draw, engage, disengage, holster. Develop that muscle memory to where your sights line up right exactly where your eyes at. So we can just point and shoot. All right, so when you draw as much of the firearm as possible, fingers on the grip, always make sure you practice trigger discipline, negligent discharges in this fashion, you'll end up shooting yourself. So in, in th this case, when you're gripping your firearm, you want that piece right here to cover it up, uh, go your fit right into that part of your hand. Now, as far as that goes, when you take your second hand, this is your thumb placement. You grip as much as you can right here. Your thumb's like that. As much of it you can get on the gun as, as you can. A bad habit many people do though, is they will put a finger or something like that over the trigger guard. That's Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.